you see other brands saying like, oh, hey, we're having a sale because of this, that, and the third. Or, hey, we need help doing this, that, and the third. Help out any... Welcome back to Cash and TV. I'm Cash and of course. I love that. That's like my favorite little part of my videos because it's me. I'm Cash and it's Cash and TV. You feel me? We're in my room because quarantine gives room vibes a little bit. And I'm like talking and it's like hella chill. This video is hella chill. So I'm like, let's go to the room. Let's get it popping. You feel me? So lately, I have not been uploading videos. I have not been doing anything because I have been tired. Like, I want to say I stopped working full time in like late May. I mean, mm, late March. Sorry, because we're in May now. I might have been home for an entire month, maybe now. I went to LA in the middle of March for the Fashionpreneur Retreat. And that got cut in half because of coronavirus. So I did a vlog for that, but it's gonna be half now and then half. Well, half then and then half when I go back to LA because they rescheduled the retreat. I'm blonde, by the way. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this already, but so during the quarantine, I haven't been extremely motivated. Honestly, as you can tell, my videos are kind of lacking and I apologize for that. However, I kind of, I was kind of stuck with content for a little bit and then I started doing stuff and then I just forgot to edit stuff. I was looking for a new editing software because I low-key hate iMovie and I found one and I forgot to like pay the subscription so I can't use it yet until I pay it. In addition to me being um like not motivated, I've been trying to do more things to keep myself motivated. Like I made a daily schedule because I sleep until three o'clock every day. I can't keep sleeping until three every day. Like that's not smart. So I made like a daily schedule for that. Um, I also, um, I try to write in my journal every day. I just try to do things to keep me afloat while the world is like going crazy around me, basically. My people are still outside risking their lives every day, you know? So, um, um, I like to sit right here because where my desk is, of course, it's my messy little desk. Um, and this is like my goal boards and everything. So this is my vision board for 2020, half girls from Venus, half cashin. Um, the Old My Venus magazine. It's like an outline of what I want for my life up there. Um, goals for 2020. How I'm going to get all these goals done. And this is a map of the U.S. Because I want to have orders in every single state by the end of this year. And I think I'm going to be able to do that. Like really, really. Because the way I have these two next collections and stuff planned. I feel like it's going to give what needs to be what gave. Basically as a business owner, this is a really, really tricky time for me personally. Because it's like... Do I post a lot? Do I not post a lot? Do I sell? Do I not sell? Do I introduce new products? Do I not like? So I've been trying to just find my balance. So in lieu of me finding my balance today, I started the at home with GFV campaign. So basically if you already have GFV, you can send in a picture or a video of yourself in Girls From Venus or just a picture of your favorite Girls From Venus item. Then you can talk about how quarantine is like treating you, how you're coping with being in the house all the time and all those things. I thought it was something really cool, really fun for everybody. I liked it. Today was the first day and Sophia did it and I really appreciated it. Hers was so cute. She took her dog. And so yeah, like it's really just trying to get my customers to be more active with me and me talking to them more as this is going on while I'm also in the background continuously building Girls From Venus Foundation and um things like that i want to give you guys some tips and tricks on like things you could be doing right now if you're a business owner or things just to stay sane during the quarantine one thing you can do that's really been helpful for me during the quarantine is taking a walk so um i can get really frustrated in my house sometimes so i take walks so um you can walk to your local park walk around your neighborhood you can walk around your block like you know you don't have to like go to a park and walk just Get some fresh air. Fresh air helps. It opens you up. I feel like it makes you feel a lot more peaceful than you were before. Catch up with some shows that you haven't been watching or some shows that you haven't, um, you know, had a chance to watch because you've been working so hard and things like that. Like during the quarantine, I've started and finished Tiger King, Little Fires Everywhere, All American. I rewatched The Office. I rewatched Parks and Recreation. I rewatched Gossip Girl. I rewatched Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Um, like. You can be just watching anything and it's no problem just relaxing some days and just watching movies or taking a walk and you know cooking your favorite meal whatever the case may be like lately cooking has been really fun too like I've been trying different recipes like since I've been in the house I've made like stir fry 
I've made a Cajun shrimp pasta. I made fried Oreos two nights ago. Like I've been having fun. So in addition to all things you can do for yourself, i.e. cooking, taking a walk, watching them shows, things you can do for your brand are also important too. So you could like, for one, plan out your whole next collection. Like, okay, once quarantine is over, I wanna drop this, 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 and this. You wanna drop those things, you make a budget, how much everything gonna cost as far as marketing, as far as product, as far as ads, whatever you wanna do, boom. Then you can like map out what vendors you're buying them from, how long it's gonna take for processing, how long it's gonna take for shipping, when it's gonna get here, when you wanna order it, boom. You can look at your finances and say, okay, I can pay this much on this, do this, that, that boom bow bang put it up in like a little google like google spreadsheet like or like an excel spreadsheet so you can have everything mapped out so when it's time for you to press that button you press the button and you all lit you just sitting back cooling because everything finished so also during this time it's really really important for you to keep in touch with your vendors your customers your manufacturers everybody because people all around the world are affected by the covid so you can be talking to your customers giving them updates on how you guys continue to plan on doing business you could be talking to your manufacturers like how you guys doing are you guys still making things things like that how are your shipping times now is anything going to be changed because of the covid precautions whatever whatever like keeping in touch with everybody is very very important because it maintains those strong relationships even though it's some weird stuff going on so building your business brain is a great thing that you could always be doing but during this time you have way way more time to do stuff so anything as far as ted talks youtube videos you know from like other entrepreneurs like kyle shay glamour's on tay they have good informational entrepreneur type videos a lot of girls now do inventory i'll tell you where they get all that stuff from so if you need some new vendors you can look on there for that too also like online courses a lot of them are free now because they know everybody is like home and need stuff to do so it's a lot of free courses out there all you gotta do is look and find some and i bet you'll find some that you're looking for so while you're sewing into your own business and making your own business brain popping you know all those good things you can also be pouring into other businesses like say your money and your cash flow is still the same but you still have the same amount of income even might have more income okay cool so buy from a small business promote a small business like you know offer your services to a small business you never know how your little things can help someone a lot of people who i see are being very very helpful all over social media and i really really like it and i think it's something that's very very honorable so i've been trying to pour um into other businesses i've been shopping non-stop like non-non-stop i have bought so much freaking stuff like I think I might just make a video of all the stuff I've bought during quarantine because like it's just so much stuff from skincare to hair care to any damn thing you could think of. I'm gonna just fill a bag up with everything and just take it to my basement and be like this is what I bought during quarantine because I have no common sense. So thanks so much for watching this video. This is the end unfortunately. I pray that you guys are staying safe. Your family members are staying safe and y'all are all staying in the house during this quarantine because to be truthfully honest they don't know what's going on with this virus and I wish they did because then we could go outside a little bit faster but you know, stay safe, stay in the house, stay sane, you know, do the things you need to do to keep yourself together like I will be doing. I hope these tips helped you in any single way because even if you don't have a business, it's hard to just stay in the house because it's just a struggle. You might want to stay in the house. But yeah, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Turn your post notifications on so next time I decide to post, which is going to be sometime soon, promise, um, you'll get a notification and yeah. Cash out. I'll see you in the next video.